Hi everyone, this is Canon PIXMA MG3650S and in this video I will show you how to set up this printer on your Windows PC. Let's get into it right now. First, let's connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. You can use USB connection as well, in this case just connect your computer to your printer with USB cable and follow the steps in this video, they are pretty the same for USB connection. But we are going to use Wi-Fi and the easiest method to set up Wi-Fi connection is WPS. Uh, to activate WPS on your printer you need to do next. First make sure the control panel is looking like this, I mean the alert indicator is off and the power and Wi-Fi indicators are glowing solid. Uh, next press and hold Wi-Fi button until you see blinking power indicator like this, then release the Wi-Fi button, press black copy button and Wi-Fi button once again. That's it. Now Wi-Fi button is blinking and that's what you need. Uh, next, take your Wi-Fi router, find WPS button on its case and press it. Just press it once and wait for about one minute. Now you see uh, two indicators are blinking. When, I, uh, when they get back solid, uh, you're all set and you can continue on your computer. So let's wait. That's it. That's what we need. By the way, if your rotor doesn't have WPS button on its case, uh, most likely it means the WPS button is virtual. You just need to access the rotor's web interface by its IP address. So apply to the rotor's user manual to found, find out how to do this. Usually uh, this feature is somewhere in advanced wireless WPS connect. Uh, that's pretty it. Now let's set up your printer. Let's download the setup software to your PC, so open any web browser and in the search bar type in canon.com slash IJ setup. Then hit enter and it takes you to their website, hit setup here. Uh, next click in this field and start typing your model name MG. 36 and select your printer from this drop down then click go and as you can see here you can select your operating system you can download software for mac windows rt ios so but we need to select windows in our case click download and select this file to open it yes in this window now you can minimize your browser and continue in setup wizard so uh, click on start setup it's acquiring some information now select your region and country and click next accept the license agreement this is mandatory uh, so click yes and this is optional extended survey program you can do not agree but why not please allow all installed wizard processes whatever it means you have just only one choice here so click next and select wireless LAN connection of course and connect via wireless rotor uh, before clicking next, make sure your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. And then, of course, click next. Check power. Click next once again and it's detecting your printer. So now your printer is detected and you can check this by the printer's serial number on the box. So uh, check this checkbox. Click next and it's installing drivers print head alignment recommended this is not a topic uh, of this video you can do this later but actually if your printer is new and the printing quality uh, is all right you can just ignore this recommendation uh, so let's click next and you can execute a test print okay let's do this let's click execute and see what's going to happen Oh, 
Okay, that's it. Actually, we're all set. We've connected our printer, but we have next button in the setup wizard. So let's uh, click this button and see. Setup complete. One more time. Next. Oh, yes, and this is optional software by Canon. Actually, you can test this software by Canon is uh, truly outdated and poor in interface and functionality. So I prefer to use third-party software. I prefer to not install anything by Canon and just click next to finish setup. And also for this example, I'm skipping user registration. This is not important. The printer is up and running and actually uh, that's it. You can exit the setup now. And it takes you to Canon website, but so you can read the information here, buy supplies, uh, read news and articles, but this is not a topic of this video as well. And very important notice, if you don't have access to the WPS feature, you might not be able to connect this printer to newer versions of Windows over Wi-Fi. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the software is outdated and works terribly, but there's a way around it. You can connect the printer to Wi-Fi using Canon print application in your smartphone and then complete the setup on your computer just like I showed you. Now watch closely. In this case, if you want to connect the printer over a smartphone, you don't need to activate WPS. You need to activate Wi-Fi pairing mode on your printer. To do this, uh, press and hold Wi-Fi button until you see blinking power indicator. And this time press not black, but the color copy button and Wi-Fi button. Uh, it activates the printer's own setup network so that you can connect the device uh, to the printer directly and then connect the printer to the shared Wi-Fi network, something like this. Uh, then in Canon print application, tap on add slash switch at the bottom, then tap on register printer and just follow the steps on the screen. And for more information, watch our video about smartphone setup of this printer. And that's it, guys. Once your printer is set up in your network, you can print from any application that allows you to do this. You just need to make your way to uh, print dialog. For example, in Adobe Acrobat, it's here, menu print or just control P. So it opens this window. Uh, the print settings vary across the application. Some were simpler, some were com more complicated. But I won't walk you through all the settings because a lot of them, you see, this is the topic for a separate lesson. Advanced settings. Uh, you just need to know that you have to select your printer in this drop down. Make sure your Canon MG3600 series is selected. Set number of copies, which pages of these documents do you wish to print, uh, adjust sizing and handling. So experiment with these uh, features, dive deep into properties. By the way, properties are defined by the printer itself. So this is not the application settings, this is the printer settings directly. And uh, once you've done your settings, just click print and the printer is going to do its job. If this video was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us, any questions comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.